Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Cody Sandlin. And also I'm here today. Good afternoon now. This Friday, December 1st, is the annual food fair. Uh, it'll take place during both lunches. The menus are posted on Instagram and are posted in the quad. Tickets will be $1 each. Cash will be the only way to get tickets. Can't wait to see all the clubs and try all the food. We thought we would make some gingerbread cookies for you guys today. So today what we're going to start off with, we're going to cream the sugar and the Crisco. Once it starts looking a little bit like this, more smooth. Creamier. Then we're going to crack in our egg. And we're going to add in our molasses. Now this is what's going to get the gingerbread that nice dark color. Since we're going into the Christmas season and we're making cookies, what's better with cookies than hot chocolate? So now we made gingerbread cookies and we also made some delicious hot cocoa because tis the season. Um, and that's all. Guys, this, this looks amazing. This does this look looks pretty amazing. Because, what? like, I didn't think it was a big deal. Don't put this in here. This. Soccer season is officially starting, and both men and women's soccer are kicking off strong, with men's first game taking place on Wednesday. Men's will also be taking, playing a game on Friday, and will playing, we'll be playing here on our home field. Speaking of sports, let's, pa let's pass it on over to Devin and Ethan. For and this is your sports update <laughs> to start off our boys basketball team has been on a three game winning streak as of right now remaining undefeated early on in their season and you know who else is undefeated early on this season the, our girls basketball team we're on a two game winning streak so far and tomorrow they will be, they will be playing against Ho hoopaville hoopu valley for uh for boys and girls will be playing against shadows Good, Good luck, luck fellas, fellas and ladies. In, NF in the NFL, Packers won their Thanksgiving game against the Lions. Unfortunately, Jordan Love didn't get a turkey leg after the win. And the 49ers quarterback, Brock Purdy, 
didn't like the turkey. So maybe Love was fortunate. Yesterday in the NBA, the Kings beat the Warriors by one point. The Timberwolves won against the Thunder. The Celtics be blew out the Bulls 124 to 97. And as of right now, the power rankings are Celtics in first place, Timberwolves second, and 76ers third. Meanwhile, in the NHL, the Predators beat their prey, the Penguins, 3 to 2. Hurricanes destroyed the Flyers 4 to 1, and the Oilers became victorious by one point against the Golden Knights. Five to four. At Formula One racing, Max Verstappen, representing Red Bull, won the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix on Sunday, along with claiming the fastest lap of the race of one minute and 29 seconds. Second place goes to Charles Leclerc for Ferrari, and third place goes to George Russell, representing Mercedes. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. Here's my bromie, Devin. And he's my great friend, Ethan. And, and back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. on Friday to board the bus. We will leave CO at midnight and arrive at Disneyland at 8 a.m. Saturday morning. This is a school field trip, so all items prohibited on campus will be prohibited on this trip, along with any additional prohibited items list for Disneyland. Any banned substances will be f that are found <coughs> will forfeit the students' right to attend the trip, and they will be disciplined. Good afternoon, my name is Mara Schrantz. And I'm Aubrey Scholl, and welcome back to your entertainment update. The new Hunger Games movie, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, has had major success in theaters so far, despite only being released for 12 days. The movie currently holds the number one spot in the box office and is expected to stay there for several more weeks so far. The film has made over $197 million and, and is expected to reach $200 million within the end of the year. This would make the film one of 21 total films that have reached this spectacular milestone. The Rolling Stones have announced their new tour. The renowned band will depart on their Hackney Diamonds tour later next year. Their first opening show is set to begin on April 28, 2024 in Houston, Texas, following with their final show closing on July 17th in Santa Clara. The Stones are set to perform all over, such as Seattle, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Vancouver, and Los Angeles. Resale tickets are currently being sold as of today at 12 p.m. In television news, Netflix has announced at least five program cancellations on their streaming service. Some of these shows include Shadow and Bone, Glamorous, and Agent Elvis. This announcement took place immediately after the SAG after strike ended, and it is highly anticipated that many more shows could be canceled as well due to higher wages and overall budget costs. Well, that's all for entertainment. I'm Aubrey Scholl. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Let's, Let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Wolfpack Performing Arts is hosting workshops for the 2024 school festival, the Adams Family. Workshops will take place next week after school, December 5th, 6th, and 7th. Take a photo of the screen for more information on where to meet. Have fun, Wolfpack. That's all we have for you today. I'm Cody Sandlin. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National Electronic Message Day, Wolfpack. <laughs>